Now, though when we explain this technology, it appears little complicated, let us see how in practice it is so simple that anybody can make use of this signature, provided they have made certain preparatory arrangements. Now what you see here is a typical uh, email document which is constructed using something like an Outlook or any other uh, uh, software. Now you have a from address, you have a destination address and you have the content. Now an application like this has a button like this, okay, sign. It also has got something called encrypt. So once the person who is sending this has the capability to digitally sign a document, just by clicking this button, rest of the things are done by the system. That is when you click this system, the system will calculate the hash value of the content. This is the content. Of course, it may also capture the header information which captures the name of the sender, etc. Now that entire document is hashed. The hash value is encrypted using the private key of the person, provided the system can access the private key and then attach that signature file to this email, outgoing email, and it dispatches it to the destination address. So affixing a digital signature on an email is as easy as clicking a button. Similarly, if you want to encrypt and if you already have the public key of the addressee, if you just click this button on encryption, the system will ensure that the whole message is encrypted and indications are here. This is for uh, encryption. This is for the uh, signing. So once you click both these buttons and sign and send, uh, the document gets hashed, hash gets uh, encrypted with the private key and the whole document gets encrypted with the public key of the recipient and then it leaves the sender's computer. So this is as easy as uh, signing and sending. Now when it is received at the other end, the recipient will see this kind of a covering letter that this message has been digitally signed and encrypted by the sender. Now if you say continue, then like in any other normal case, you just read the uh, message uh, as if nothing has happened. But if there is any issue, the digital signature does not tally, then you get a security warning like this. Of course, the warning may say message has been tampered with, uh, which essentially means that either the hash value is not tallying, therefore we, the system considers that the message might have been tampered with, or the public key, private key is not matching. So the system will either display this security warning or the uh, message as found here. This message will come if the signature tallies and this message will come if the signature does not tally. So even before you open the uh, email, your system has already verified the digital signature so that you can proceed with either accepting the message as sent by so and so or reject the uh, message. Now what is that the person who receives the message can view? What he can view is what is called the digital certificate. Now actually uh, you, if you see this um, uh, certificate uh, kind of a symbol uh, and double click that, uh, you will be able to view this certificate. Now this certificate says that this particular document has been digitally signed by an email address identification and the digital ID has not been revoked, so that is it is currently in operation and um, you can rely on that, the contents are not altered, signature trusted, etc, etc. So this is the kind of certificate which is being displayed um, 
by the system if you uh, click on the certificate uh, picture and try to view the details now if you if within the certificate if you click on the tab general then you will see that this certificate has been issued to Vijay Shankar Nagaraj Rao, the name of the person issued by citizenship authority validity. So, what the recipient can see is the name of the person who has sent it and that is how the identification is being taken as uh, authentication. Now, if, the, if you want to drill down further into the certificate, if you uh, click on the uh, tab of details, then you will see further details of the particular uh, certificate such as a serial number is there and there is a signature algorithm SHA-1 and RSE algorithm and the issuer's uh, name is there, valid from and to and the subject which is the person to whom it has been issued is uh, navi9 at gmail.com and uh, of course further details of the subject is uh, displayed here which may also contain information such as the corporate identity of the person. Um, in this particular case, it says Vijay Shankar Nagaraj Rao of Ujula Consultants. You can have a designation, director, managing director, sales manager, whatever you want at the time of issue of the digital certificate. Uh, if it is properly um, structured, you can have the identity of the person along with the designation. But what is key to this? My, so this thing is the email ID because the system will identify the email address rest of it is taken care of by the uh, process similar to the KYC uh, that is the know your customer kind of uh, things which banks use at the time the certificates are issued. Now one more thing you can observe here is if you go to what is called the certification path it shows that this particular certificate uh, was originally it comes down from somebody called CCA India to e Mudra, and from e Mudra there are certain internal uh, agencies finally to Vijay Shankar Nagaraj Rao. That is this person gets the authority from e Mudra, and e Mudra itself gets the authority from CCA. This is called the certification path. 